Okay, so you're a midfielder and you're asking yourself, what do I need to do to become unstoppable? Well, today I'm going to show you five incredible midfield dodges that you can implement in your game right now. Before we get started, would you mind if I sent you an email each week with exclusive film breakdowns, tips, and drills to help you become great? If that answer is yes, please join the LAX Weekly email newsletter in the link down in the description. Over 300 of you already have, which makes me super pumped. Also, if you're looking for a personal coach, you can check out the private coaching link in the description as well. Now, let's get into the video. The number one most unstoppable midfield dodge is the split dodge to roll back. If you're a righty, this is where you split dodge down the left and then roll back to your right and shoot. This move is extremely popular and it's because of how effective it really is. Many times defenders are good enough to stop you on that first split dodge, but it's really difficult to stop two dodges in a row. When you roll back, the defender is completely caught by surprise. And another great thing about this dodge is that when you shoot, your defender is blocking you from the view of the goalie. So that means the goalie has no clue where the ball is when it comes out of your stick. This means that as long as you place the ball on the goal, you can almost guarantee yourself a goal. And that's pretty cool. Every type of midfielder can use this move, whether you're more of a big and physical dodger or a small and quick dodger. In order to make this move work, you need to have an effective split dodge to get the defender to commit. I talk about this in my other top 5 dodges video which I'll link down to below. Another huge perk of this dodge is that you can set up your dominant hand with your non-dominant hand. Let me explain. So let's say you really like shooting with your right hand. Well eventually your defender is going to force you to your left since they know you're good with your right. Well then you can go left and then roll back right, which means you still get to shoot with your right hand. If you're looking for an immediate boost in your lacrosse game, learn this dodge. Go out and practice 100 shots right after you finish watching this whole video. Then do it tomorrow. Then do it for a month and you'll become a ninja. The next move that every midfielder should learn is the wing dodge. This is where you bring your man to the side of the goal, also known as the wing, instead of dodging from up top. When you dodge from the wing, it confuses the defense and makes it easier for you to score. And that's flat out awesome. When you wing dodge, there's a variety of different moves you can do, but my favorite one is the face dodge. This is when you bring the stick across your face and go underneath your defender. You'll see a lot of Canadians do this move because they really favor their dominant hand. The face dodge is really, really hard for defenders to stop, and I think you could score a lot of goals with it. Midfielders who might be smaller and quicker could really benefit from the wing dodge. The wing dodge gives you plenty of space to work with, which means you might be able to get by defenders easier than if you were dodging from up top. Next time you're in practice, take your defender down to the wing and see what happens. Who knows? It might be your next secret dodging spot. The next unstoppable midfield dodge is the answer move. This is when you dodge down the alley and instead of switching the stick to your outside hand, you actually keep it in your inside hand and shoot. If you can pull this off, it's practically impossible for defenders to stop because they have no idea it's coming. I will say this move is very advanced. There's only a handful of midfielders who can really do this move well. But that should fire you up because that means that you could learn something that almost no one else knows how to do. This will give you a massive leg up on your opponents and you'll stand out to coaches and recruiters. The best video on the answer move is right here on YouTube, brought to you by pro lacrosse player Deemer Class. He breaks down exactly how to do it and I'll leave a link to his video in the description. So go learn the answer move and quickly watch yourself become the most impressive midfielder on your team. Now for the fourth dodge, which is the swim move. This move was made popular by none other than one of the greatest lacrosse players of all time, Paul Rabel. This is where you bring the stick over the top of your defender in a motion most similar to, you guessed it, swimming. If you've watched enough of my lacrosse videos, you know that I say midfielders should try to dodge with as much space as possible, meaning you should have several feet of separation between you and your defender. But the swim move is different, it's actually more effective when your defender is really close to you. 
You're trying to get your defender to poke you in one direction and then swim over him in the opposite direction. If you have a defender who is really aggressive on you and trying to get to your hands, the swim move could be the perfect dodge. But let me say, the swim move is a high risk, high reward kind of dodge. You're bringing the stick directly in front of your face, and that means the stick is vulnerable to getting checked more than other dodges. That's why you have to use it only in the right situation. You shouldn't use this dodge more than two or three times in a game. I like to think of my lacrosse game as a toolbox, where I have different dodges and skills to use in different situations, just like you would have different tools to use for different things. So the swim move is just one more thing to add to your toolbox. Try it out in your next practice and see how it works. And finally, for the last unstoppable midfield dodge, the bull dodge. The name says it all. In this dodge, you bull your way into your defender, stop, and then shoot. If you're a big, strong midfielder, this is a way of using your strength to your advantage. When you pull off a proper bull dodge, you'll leave the defense and everyone else watching you in shock. It's definitely one of the coolest dodges. There's no midfielder that exemplifies the bull dodge more than Sergio Perkovic. The former Notre Dame superstar turned pro lacrosse player has done the bull dodge countless times and it's led to some crazy looking goals. What I love about this dodge is that it's so simple. There's not much going on. You're just bullying your defender, taking a big power cradle and letting it rip. If you need motivation to go lift some weights, the bull dodge should be your perfect motivation. Now if you want me to break down exactly which dodges would be right for your specific lacrosse game, go check out the link for private coaching in the description. I can tailor a specific plan based on your skill level and attributes as a lacrosse player to help you become great. I've already helped many of you guys and I can't wait to help out even more. You can also subscribe to the free email newsletter if you're thirsting for even more content. So those are five unstoppable midfield moves that you can go practice right now. Leave a comment down below what you want to see next, and I'll see you next time.